the two victim over here. I'm just passing you through the number eight. Okay, so fifty. Money. Oh, who are you? The name's Charlie Cowell, Anvil salesman. Just passing through. Just return the good name of the traveling fraternity. Mr. Cowell, you're making a big mistake. Big mistake? Well, at least course of cover. That man's been a raspberry seed in my wisdom tooth long enough. <laughs> He's spoiled Illinois for me. Not gonna spoil Iowa. Say, what kind of music teacher are you anyway? You didn't see how I threw him? He's no more professor than I know uh, all about that. Band leaders are always <clears throat> called professor. It's a harmless deception. He's a fine director and a, his scholastic- Oh wait a minute. Fine director? Have you heard one note from any band? No. What? Nothing, girly girl. That man's never formed a band in his life. He never will. Depot. No. You'll have to catch it at the crossing. No, sir. I gotta leave worried about the fellow hill. I see you ain't the one to leave word with. Oh, um, I, I've, uh, I've never met a man of animals before. That's really wow. quite interesting. Well, it takes a real salesman, I'll tell you that. What am I doing? Don't catch that trick. You're with me. Not on your ten time. How long are you doing with these letters? Illinois. That's a uh, hundred and two county, hundred and two counties. Not to mention music teachers like you they coast up to. Now the one you heard last week, girly girl. Marion! Marion! Marion, who are you talking to just now? Oh! Huh. Why, Professor Hill! This is Peru, the top of the evening. Hi, top of the evening Miss to you too. Marion? Ah, Professor, hmm. why don't you and Marion come and set up here for a moment? Um, I've got some pickles on the stove. Mama, you know there are no pickles on that stove right now. Well, I'll put some on. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we set, as your mother said? You did ask me to call. Professor Hill, is it true that... What I'm trying to say is, I must be awfully dull company for a... Where'd you get an idea like that? One hears rumors of traveling salesmen. Now, Miss Marion, you shouldn't believe everything you hear. One even hears rumors about librarians. Hmm? I suppose you're referring to Uncle Maddie. Uncle Maddie? Mr. Madison, my father's best friend. No matter what they say, he left me an assured job so that Mother and Winthrop and I could have some security. I mean, surely you don't believe No, of course not, but that's exactly what I mean. Why do you think people start these rumors? Narrow-mindedness mm -hmm. and, and jealousy. Mm -hmm. Jealousy mostly, I guess. Well, and jealousy mostly starts rumors about traveling salesmen, too. What have you heard? <laughs> Just that, but of course. It stands to reason that disappointment and jealousy can lead to... Well, take you for instance, your attentions to customers and, well, music teachers might easily be misinterpreted, mightn't they? I mean, now honestly, mightn't they? Uh... And so salesmen, or somebody were jealous. Well, they could be downright lies, couldn't they? Couldn't they? What could? And you should never believe everything you hear. I mean, if you just take a little oh, bit Ms. of Marian, time Ms. to Marian, discuss things. I would be delighted to discuss anything in the world with you, but couldn't we do it sitting down? You do sit, right? Your knees, they, they bend and all. <laughs> we could sit on the porch steps. <clears throat> or we could sit on a large hollow log over at the footbridge. Huh. I couldn't think of it. Oh. I've never been to the footbridge with a man in my Just life. Just a talk. Fifteen minutes, meet me there? No, please, I just can't. Maybe another time, maybe tomorrow or day after? Oh, Next week? my dear, sweet, cute, pink, <laughs> little librarian. <laughs> you pile up enough tomorrows and you'll find you've collected up nothing but a lot of empty yesterdays.
I don't know about you, but I'd like to make today really the footbridge. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> oh, what does? I've been using the think system on you from the parlor. <laughs>